How do you handle a narcissistic family member who's like, I'm the best, and we make a pineapple mule. Today on Poor Advice. I'm Drew. And I'm Birdie. And I'm not a professional. And neither am I. So, that means you should take everything we say and do with a grain of salt, please. And a drink. Ooh, please. But not this one. I disagree. I like this one. What is it again? Pineapple Mule. Pineapple Mule. It's vodka. It's pineapple. Oh, I don't want to spoil the ending. Make sure you stick around after the advice to see how we made this pineapple mule. I guess I should go that way. Right. I don't even care. We have a friend we need to help. Yes. Let's do that advice. So this week, a friend asks, how do you handle being around a narcissistic family member? According to Google, noun, excessive interest or admiration of oneself and one's physical appearance. Okay, so as soon as you start noticing their behavior is getting a little bit ridiculous, you need to feed into that narcissism as much as you can, as hard as you can. You need them to be the top of the world because you're gonna use this as leverage. You're gonna use this as leverage. What? Okay, so you're gonna trick them over time maybe. It might not just be a one, this is a long con. Oh. Over time, you need to build their confidence in your confidence in them. So you're playing the long game. Long game. You keep building that rapport with this family member that may be long distance or local or whatever, but you make sure that you are their confidant <clears throat> in all things fashion and style and how okay. great they look. Because then what will end up happening? Because you're going to start tricking them into making terrible fashion decisions. Like what? Okay, so what if, say, okay, so if it's a girl, maybe you trick them into wearing, like, you could, you should really try this white eyeshadow. White eyeshadow. It looks so good on you. And only you. I've never seen anyone pull off a Y shadow before. That's because I'm freaky. Does it exist? I'm sure that it does. Ah, yeah. So you're gonna, it's an everyday look for this person now because you have built that confidence in their opinion of you. And then you have this like inside joke with yourself. Yeah. That, and the, <laughs> that their makeup looks terrible. Yeah, and you can bring other family members into it too so that, you know, tell her she looks good in white eyeshadow. And then that keeps going. Uh, if it's a dude though, maybe you get them to um, grow a creepy, like, blonde mustache. Like, Ew. bro, I've never seen anyone pull off a blonde mustache like you. Uh, and if, not everybody is a fair-haired person, so if it's a dark-haired man that you're trying to um, long con, you get them to do pencil stash. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Hey, you know what, Jerry? Only you. You, my friend, would look so good with a pencil mustache. And if they resist, you just, every time you see them, you're like, I really wish you would reconsider about that pencil mustache. And then maybe you have like a Photoshop picture of them with a Vincent Price or something, just paste it on. I'm, right? just, picturing, I'm just picturing the Dwight Schrute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could do that too. Put it on their mirror so that when they look up, they're like, oh, I do look good. Maybe I could do that. And then you got your homie, homie man, brother, friend, whatever you call your friends. Family members. Family member, thank you. <laughs> brother, cousin. They've got a pencil mustache now. Oh, And you goodness. and everyone around them supports them in this decision. Hey friend, this was very helpful advice. And might I add, you look great in black. <laughs> so stick around. We're about to make this uh, pineapple mule. And you can choose for yourself if you like it. Don't listen to her. Listen to me. Mm. <laughs> Let's show these fine folks at home how we made this mule. Yes. So. The pineapple mule consists of vodka, ginger beer, pineapple juice, and lime juice. 
the first thing we're gonna do is add two ounces of vodka. To an empty mule mug. You gonna smell it? Mm -hmm. Or are you just... Just making sure it was full. Two ounces of pineapple juice. An ounce of lime juice, squeezed off the camera. Fresh. Always fresh. And now we have to fill that up with ice. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, we didn't stir. We'll stir it. Oh, with full of ice? Yeah. Ding. Awesome. And now we top it off with ginger beer. Good. Let me smell Dang it. it, not a Moscow mule. Pineapple mule. It smells very pineapple-y. I wonder why. Could be this. Let me move this out of the way. Cheers. Nope, still pineapple-y. Yep. Let's get to tasting, shall we? First taste. Let's clean up first. I'm gonna do the magic trick. Ready? Yep. Say the magic words. Let's clean up. <laughs> you did it. Magic. Magic. I love cleaning with magic. It's just like Harry Potter. Mmm, Harry Potter. With the house elves and the brooms that do their own thing. Like Fantasia. I hated that movie as I a kid. I didn't like it either. Let's move on. All right. Let's try this pineapple mule for the first time in our life. How about we be honest and say we had some uh, camera issues. Yeah. So we tweaked the recipe a little bit. Yeah. Added more ginger beer. Yeah. And... I recommend cutting pineapple in half. Yeah. So the recipe we publish on Facebook and Twitter. If you're not following, check us out at For Advice Show on both of those things. Um, that'll have the recipe tweaked to our liking here. There we go. First sip. Ish. Mmm. So good in every way. Still don't like it. I like the tweaked version. It's got a little bit of pineapple, which I'm a huge fan of. It's like more ginger beer, which is good. Yeah. The pineapple, like something about the pineapple juice just like throws it off. So, I'm a fan. She is clearly not. Nope. That's two in a row you don't really care for. Yep. We're gonna have to do better next week. If you have a question you'd like answered on the show, please send it in to us by Facebook. Yeah. Twitter. Yeah. Or in the comments below. And an email would work too. Oh, an email. I totally forgot about email. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Do that. All of them, here for you. Thank you so much for watching the show. If you enjoyed this tomfoolery, please like the video, please share the video, and make sure you subscribe to our channel. That way, you know right away when we have more tomfoolery for you. Yes. Did okay. you say share? You did say share. Yeah. Share it. See you later. What? <laughs> I right. hope that you get Jeff's laugh in that. <laughs>